what's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do? And yes, yes, I am reviewing the HTC One M8. Specifically, this is the Google Play edition. I know what you're thinking. Hold the phones, hold the phones. He's finally reviewing this phone? Yes. I sat down today after receiving many comments about how many battery videos I've been doing lately and stuff like that. And I thought it was time to finally, finally review this phone. Now, I've learned over my years of reviewing phones that people like to not have the cases on the phone when I review them. I did a video on this case. I know someone out there is going to ask, even though I'm saying it right now. I will try to remember the link to this video in the description below. But this is by far my favorite case. I've tried many other cases. And every single time, I go to reach for that little kickstand to prop my phone up and watch a YouTube video or a Netflix or something. Or eat, like have a Skype conversation and Google Hangout, etc. And it's not there. So I always end up going back to this case. So, anyways... The HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. This is hands down my favorite phone. If you follow me on Twitter, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me at all, then you already know that. If you're just subscribed to my YouTube channel and you do not follow me anywhere else, you may not know that this is my favorite phone. This phone has... Oh my goodness. I, I've been completely spoiled. And a lot of people talk about cases. I like cases on this specific phone because it's so white and it gets dirty really, really easily. And then I have to clean it and then I put the case on it. That way it doesn't get dirty again. So that's a big reason why I do it. Plus, I don't want the phone to get messed up. So let's go ahead and take get one thing out of the way real quick before we actually start diving into the phone, the features, and etc. The camera. The camera's not terrible. In fact, 99% of my Instagram pictures and videos are taken with this back camera right here, it's definitely not the best. Definitely. But, it's not bad. It's it's definitely not the worst. I, it, I wish it had been higher megapixels. That's my only complaint. Every once in a while, if I want to take a really good picture, I pull out my Note 3 and I use that 13 megapixel camera. My wife uses the S5 and I, that's why I don't use that phone. So, I had a choice to use that phone. I just preferred this one over the S5. So, I... And she likes having a good camera on her phone because she takes pictures. I do videos. And video-wise, this thing does really, really good. So no complaints there. This is the little aftertouch focus camera, which does work with the Google Play phone. So, for instance, we'll open up the stock camera app here. And then I'll change it to picture. And if I take a picture of this case right here, um, actually, let me take a picture of back here. I talk a lot, so I have a Dr. Pepper over there to so I don't get, you know, <laughs> out of breath or whatever. So let's focus on the Dr. Pepper can and take a picture. You know what? Let's move this out of the picture. There we go. Now we can do a little do this focus stuff a little better. So we'll focus on the Dr. Pepper and take a picture. Alright. So now we just move this over here to get to that picture. And you can hit the edit button right here. And then you'll see HTC photo edit and then you hit just once and look now you can do u-focus and we can go Okay, I want to focus on the little FDR AX100 logo here now. It's focused on that uh, Let's focus on the note 3 box up here Let's look see you see how the dr. Pepper is no longer in focus if we press on the dr. Pepper now the dr. Pepper is in focus so this has that feature, and then you can save it like that if you want to. And if we go back, you can also see touch up to make little edits here, like red eye removal, eye brightening, anti-shine, skin smoothness, etc. And then if we go back, then we have the Dimension Plus, where it uses the accelerometer to get a focus view, like around something. Which is cool, because look, you see right here, you cannot see the other Dr. Pepper words. If we do that, you can see the R. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so this does have a lot of features that the Sense version has. For example, if you turn the phone off, you can double tap on the screen to turn the phone on. So if you want to go ahead and do it with a swipe gesture, you can do that too. And to get to those settings, you can bring down two fingers to get to your toggles here. Go to your settings. 
and then go to the mo uh, gestures. Where are you at? Where are you at? Motion lunge. And then you've got double tap, swipe to unlock, volume buttons in landscape. So it says pick up the phone in landscape orientation and press the volume button to wake the phone and launch the camera app. So we're going to let the phone stay right there. We're going to pick it up, press the button. Yeah, I, I rarely can ever get it to do that. I may be doing it wrong. So, and I don't, I just, you know, unlock my phone. Alternatively, you can get to the camera by doing this little number right here and you take a picture and that doesn't take any time at all. As you can see, I have a locks code on my phone. I don't want my phone to accidentally become unlocked in my pocket or something. And then it's like starts opening all these crazy apps and dialing these numbers and stuff. So that's why I have a lock screen code on it. And if I set my phone down, I don't have to worry about somebody coming along, picking it up and, you know, going through my contacts and my messages and etc. So right away, you're presented with the home screen. Now I have this customized. This is just a widget. You could put a clock up here. Uh, it comes with a clock. Also, you can download something like HD widgets, which is one of my favorite ones. And you can customize your home screen, your widgets, and etc. for your clock, your weather, and all that fun stuff. I need to do that, but at the same time, your clock's up there, so it's like, why? And then I've got AccuWeather. I can just quickly get to that and check the weather and stuff. These are just widgets I have placed, like a flashlight shazam for finding out like what the name of a song is which also this uses uh, i use shazam soundhound and the google play music this is a memory reclaim thing because my htc 1m8 is rooted and then this is greenify it's just a really quick way of like instagram quickly kills my battery so for instance i'll check my well thank you emmanuel he's a pretty cool guy <laughs> um this is my instagram by the way if you want to follow me on there please feel free to do so. It is Instagram.com slash www.joshdew. But in, anyways, a lot of times my phone will get really hot and I'm like, what in the world is killing my battery? Why is my freaking phone burning a hole in my pocket? So I'll just go over here and hit hibernate now. And I set Instagram to be hibernated when I press that. And so, yeah. And this is just a reboot option so I can reboot my phone with one little button press. And you're going to see the unlocked bootloader icon right there and then that is the logo for google of course <laughs> duh but anyways so this is the google play edition phone meaning this has stock aosp android no custom skin on top of android that's slowing your phone down eating up your ram eating up your computer processor and eating up storage on your phone this is android the way google meant it to be so I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's beautiful. I, I have no complaints with it. This phone has wireless AC, so you can get some really good Wi-Fi speeds if you have a very fast router. I happen to have the Asus RTAC68U, so I get really, really strong Wi-Fi. If I go to my Wi-Fi here, I'm upstairs, but if I was downstairs, I would get 433 megabits per second. My signal um, sometimes goes to two bars, so it's not... The greatest up here, but yeah. And if you're someone that says, thanks for your IP address, trying to be all smart, this is my local IP address. You should Google IP addresses for dummies if you think that you can get something out of my local network IP address. Tell you what, some people just want to start trouble. That's all there is to it. One of the big benefits of owning a Google Play Edition phone is if you go to About Phone, you'll see that we are on 443. Now, 444 just came out, but all it does is fix the security fix because of the towel root. Towel root roots your phone with one easy click. Even on a Nexus 5, if your bootloader is locked, I repeat, locked. So, like, you just got it from the, from the uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, or Google Play Store. You don't even have to unlock your bootloader. You just install the towel root app, press make it rain, and you're rooted. It's an exploit with an Android. So, they're fixing that. And it's not really anything big, but this phone will get that update. Or I could see, look, two bars of Wi-Fi. It's not the greatest up here. But I could go install that right now if I wanted to. But 444 is not on any of my Nexus 5s or 7s. So, yeah, I'm not installing it at the moment because it's just a security fix. But the beautiful thing about that is you're going to get all those updates. This is just something I have with exposed modules. You can 
download modules and tweak your phone. You can, uh, like for instance, when I hold down my power button here, you're gonna see that I have like a screenshot, reboot, I could choose recovery, um, I, all different types of things because of because of this exposed installer right here. But yeah, you're gonna get 444, you're gonna get Android 4.5. Someone mentioned me on Google Plus, sending me a leaked screenshot of what 4.5 looks like, and if it's true, they changed the icons up here a little bit. So this phone's gonna get that very, very soon. And I absolutely love, 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 love playing back media content on here. So if I go to my subscriptions, uh, for instance, James Cannon just uploaded this video. So if I press on it, I hear sound through these front speakers facing towards me. My microphone's only picking up my voice. It's not picking up things coming from here. So you're going to barely be able to hear it. But I don't have to sit there and cut my hand behind this phone and try to get the sound to come towards me. I don't have to. It's absolutely beautiful. It, the sound is coming right at me from these two stereo front speakers. So if I cover up this one, I can only hear this one. If I cover up this one, I can only hear this one. Now if you Google speaker test... You're going to find a video by a guy that shows left channel, right channel, right here. Left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. But yeah, when it says left on, let me just show you who made that real quick so I can give credit to them. Comedy Hunter. That's one word. Comedy Hunter. And then we'll go to their channel so you can see what videos they have and etc. So yeah, just uh, giving him credit because it's his video. I'm just showing it as an example. It's considered fair use. So, And I've talked to him in the past and he's okay with it. My point with that was to show you that left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel. So it... It's not just one speaker that's giving you audio. It's two speakers in stereo, and it's not in the back, where if you set your phone down like that, you, you're covering up that speaker, and now your phone's not going to be as loud. You're going to miss phone calls. You're going to miss text messages. You're going to miss notifications. But with your speakers like this, you don't miss anything. And I'll tell you what, man. When my alarm clock goes off every morning, it is super, super loud. I love this phone. And also, the front camera is actually a higher megapixel than the back one. So, if I go to my settings here, I can show you the resolution of the camera. See, the back camera does 1080p and so does the front one. 4.1 megapixels for the back camera and then 4.9 megapixels for the front camera. So, you're getting a higher quality front camera than back camera, which is great. So, if you're taking a selfie or if you're trying to record a Skype conversation like this, you're going to get a really good 1080p picture out of that front camera. The phone is super, super responsive. I mean, everything you throw at it, it just handles it very, very quickly. There's not a single hint of lag or anything at all. It's This phone is just absolutely awesome and perfect. And I honestly, this is my favorite phone. I don't have enough money to go out and pay full price for the LG G3 or the OnePlus One. I can't get that at the moment. A lot of these phones, I, people ask me, should I get the LG G3? Should I get the OnePlus One? Should I get the OnePlus One on paper? Sounds amazing, especially for that price. I just don't have that right now. I don't get phones for free. This phone was almost $800 out of pocket. I posted an Instagram picture when I bought it. It was like $773 or something. My Note 3 was like $760 something. All of my phones are off contract and super expensive. And I obviously I cannot do that all the time. But um, as far as what I've used, this is just ma amazing. It has the Snapdragon 801. So it's got the newer processor. It doesn't have like the 800 from the Nexus 5. But that's not to say Nexus 5 is a bad phone. Because the Nexus 5 has Franco kernel. Um, the Sense version of this phone has Franco kernel. But the Google Play Edition doesn't, which is weird because the Nexus 5 is AOSP and this one's running an AOSP ROM, but there's no Franco kernels available for it yet. 
And if you don't know what Franco kernel is, you're missing out. If you have a device that this kernel supports, you're going to get much better battery life. Your Nexus 5 can be overclocked to 3 gigahertz. It's, it's insane. I wanted to do a Nexus 5 versus HTC One M8 Google Play Edition because I still have a lot of positive things to say about the Nexus 5, including the fact that it works on CDMA GSM. It's a $349 phone compared to a phone that's going to run you almost $800 after taxes. Yeah, but I've truly fell in love with HTC's hardware after the getting the M7, and before that I had like the Evo 4G LTE, before that I had the Evo 3D, before that I had the HTC Hero, like seriously, I love this phone, and I, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make this video much longer other than the fact that I love this phone, and I'm not going to say that anymore, it's, it's, it's truly an amazing phone. Honestly, it's the one phone I carry around the most because of the fact that I'm running it on T-Mobile and while I'm in my house. if I, A lot of times I get two bars in my house and if I go outside, then I get a full four. But even with one bar, even with one bar, I still get about 16 to 18 down. And with Sprint, I couldn't even get 3G. Like a lot of, like I posted Instagram pictures where my phone was not even showing data at all. Because Sprint sucks. There are some areas where their stuff works, but it's not here. So, we're only getting an 87 megabit per second link speed. So, this is probably not going to be the greatest speed test in the world. But, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Alright, so we're getting 81. Which sounds about right, considering the link speed that we're getting upstairs. So, I'm going to disconnect it from Wi-Fi. Run this on my... T-Mobile LTE, and we're going to see what kind of stuff we get then. There we go. I can just show you real quick that I do, in fact, get about 125. Um, sometimes it's not. So, yeah, that's with my data. See, this is my data, man. I love T-Mobile's LTE. This is all data right there. Look at this. This is what I get where I live. This is what T-Mobile is constantly providing me with. So if I turn off my Wi-Fi by holding down this little thing right here that turns it off. Now let's go ahead and run that speed test again. I needed my phone to connect to the right tower to give me the best results possible. There we go, Kansas City. Now it's the correct one. So I should get, well see, I'm getting eight, which isn't the end of the world. I can live with eight down. Considering with Sprint, I was on a lot of times 3G or it was bouncing back and forth between 3G and LTE and I couldn't, I had to like change it to where my phone only connected to 3G just so I could stay on a signal. And look at that, almost 16 down with one bar. Even with one bar, it's great. And that's just my LTE. Once I go on a phone call, so let's go ahead and make a test call to Bank of America. You see, my little LTE icon went away and I get full HSPA plus and full 3G signal with T-Mobile here. It's just my LTE, which doesn't give me the greatest signal in my house. But once I leave my house, it's freaking beautiful. And even, even you just saw my speed test. That was not bad at all, even with just one bar. So unlike most of my reviews, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short. I think I've covered most everything I want to talk about. The speakers, which is probably the, and the build quality, which are probably the two main most important things to me on this phone. Having that micro SD card right there, I have a 64 gig in there at the moment. You can put 128 gig in there, just like you can on the S5. I don't have 128 gig because they're kind of expensive. And then your SIM card right here. The front camera is really, really good. It's the highest quality front camera I've ever seen on a device at 5 megapixels. I've gotten used to the power button. At first, it was hard because I was used to my... M7 where I would just push the button like that I just I've gotten so used to it and a lot of times I don't even press the power button I just double tap on the screen or I slide up to unlock it out of all the phones I've ever used this is definitely my favorite one again I cannot comment about the LG G3 or any other phone out there my preference is Google Play Edition phones if they had an S5 Google Play Edition I probably would have sold my wife's AT&T S5 and gotten the Google Play Edition S5 or not even gotten the AT&T version and just went out and got the Google Play Edition S5. Because that's how much I love having stock Android. That's how much I love 
being able to bring my phone home and then immediately root it. I mean, immediately root it without even a second delay of waiting for someone to come out with the root method, unlocking my bootloader, installing custom recovery, and then getting S off, which is security off. Um, basically just means you're, you have full access to your phone. Um, yeah. So if we go to my recovery here, you can see our recovery. I mean, the, I, I, ah, ah, I will not have a phone that I cannot root, that I cannot mod, that I cannot hack, that I, I cannot fully control and have 100% access to everything. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I know my reviews are not nearly as polished as other reviewers, and I do apologize about that. I'm not in the position, nor do I have the tools to get the really nice shots that a lot of tech reviewers that are much bigger than me have, but I'm giving you what I have, and I'm letting you know how I feel about this phone. It's amazing. I'm definitely looking forward to what HTC releases next. I really like T-Mobile, and for some reason, every now and then, it's like I get turn it off. You gotta wait a minute, and then it turns off. I don't know why it does that. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos I'm working on, to see behind the scenes, and, you know, just to stay updated in general. See, now it's doing it just fine. I don't know why it does that. It's just when you very first turn it on. Like, it's got to load the power off. <laughs> this is what would Josh do, and I'm out. I don't want my phone to accidentally I don't want my phone to accidental I don't want my phone to accident I don't want my phone to accidentally become unlocked in my so